Hi everyone, Jeannie here with Belly Beads here today to bring you a tutorial on how to roll my 12 millimeter rounds. Now this link, code link is 10015 and what this means is if you purchased my strips I've sent you a link on how to roll them. The reason for that is because there's multiple strips involved in this I just wanted to show you visually instead of sending you instructions so I thought it'd be more helpful. Now my paper strips you can purchase them through my website which is bellybeads.com or through my group which is bit paper beads born pretty at Facebook so um, either way you can get a hold of these I would love for you to join our group and share them so let's get started I'm using a paper bead roller this is a 532nd of a diameter here inches I'm sorry um, I purchased these off of the paper bead crafts by Julie Bullock you can use any paper bead roller that you like. I'm just giving you the diameter on this so you know what, um, which size to use for this particular uh, 12 millimeter round. I'm also using um, Elmer's clear glue with this container which I love and I know a lot of you um, may ha think that which have has happened actually has happened I should say <laughs> oh excuse me um, the glue will get stuck so typically when I'm done I will pop this little top right back on this rubber stopper and it really does work I promise you you won't have any more stuck glue now if it gets in your way you can certainly take it off like that so let's get started with rolling now with the 12 millimeter beads as I mentioned this, these strips they are uh, three strips together and when you purchase them they come in this package also straight which I like I don't like rolling them up and just be very careful with them also a good reminder is um, your hands may become very dry when you roll because the paper absorbs your natural oils in your skin so make sure you have a nice moisturizer on your hands so let's um, get started with separating them. So when you receive these paper strips, just go ahead, you know there's three different sizes in there. And this is typically the way I usually spread my, my, my strips out. I just get, I prepare myself with all the most commonly sized up paper beads, strips, I'm sorry, strips. And just put them all together. Here's another one. And these are also, I might want to mention, these are precisely cut. I have a Cricut machine and I, um, I cut these through them. And it's, it's really been, definitely, it, may, it made a difference. They could become, um, the, the, the way the measurements, I measured them. I use my measurements through the Cricut. It allows me to get so precise where they become very, very round. So I know this takes up a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth it because if you're gonna sit here and roll these beads, you wanna make sure you're prepared and make sure that all of them are in proper order. And so there we go make sure that these are here now remember there's three different strips I usually, I usually just line them all up and make sure that this is the top end this is the bottom end they look like they are all the same size and width all right so there we go so of course we know that the largest I'm gonna put this aside here we know that the largest one is the first strip this is the second strip and these are the third strips all right, let's get started with our paper bead roller. I wanna grab one of my strips and remember to condition your paper first, which means running it through your fingers. It allows it to soften up the paper a little bit, a little bit more easier to, um, to roll. You wanna grab your paper end here, the very, the largest end. If you notice this one, this end is a little bit smaller. So you wanna get the largest end that's the 12 millimeter side. Place it or just slide it right into the little slot in the paper bead um, roller and start rolling. Now when you roll make sure that you roll at an easy pace. Um, 
you don't want to go too fast and make sure you're aware of the uh, the tension placed on your on your paper you don't want it to be where you're pulling it and it's ripping I usually place my finger my pin on my index finger and it just and just allow it to roll we all roll differently so what however you're doing it is fine but make sure that you are being mindful of your edges uh, making sure that they are right in order there that they're straight and centered when you come to the end you want to grab some glue dab it on there I'm pretty generous with my glue because I like running it all through the bead just gives it like a little extra security and durability for me all right so then you want to make sure that you see where you ended is where you're going to begin with your new strip so let's take the second strip which is right here have some glue in my hands that's why they're sticking you want to condition it place a little glue on the tip there find that uh, where you ended on the first strip line it up with your second strip and they should match if they don't match then you have the wrong strip and then just go ahead and start rolling I think this is the most important part of rolling the bead because now you're adding and you have to be very careful that they're they remain all uh, centered if you find that this side is getting a little larger than this side or they're shifting make sure that you just push it back in or use your fingertips and pinch them because if you push this side that side's going to pop out all right we're coming to the end for the second one some glue and I usually roll it around also depending on the weight of your paper be very mindful of that because if it's thicker it's going to have a little bit longer waiting time with the glue so this paper is a little bit thicker it's about 45 pound weight and if you're curious on what the weights are of your paper check out my other tutorial I talk about the uh, the weights of and how it affects the size and shape of your beads okay the last strip I'm conditioning it I'm placing some glue on the end there looking for the second strip end which is right there I'm gonna line it up the third one with the second one and there we go and you want to just make sure that it takes you don't want to rush it keep it centered and then just work it through now to me this strip looks a little uneven so I'm going to shift and pinch a little bit and there you go that seems to be a little bit better I'm trying to get this in the camera so you can take a look and see okay see how I'm very careful with this strip and it's actually very thin so don't pull on it I usually flip it over when I know it's the end the last strip I put quite a number quite amount of glue on there as you can see because I find that running it through the last strip with the glue allows it a little gives it a little bit more durability and ready for glazing and there you go there's your your 12 millimeter round you want to push your bead off not to pull it and there we go we're done if you're interested in purchasing any of my paper strips, you can join my paper bead group, which is in Facebook, and I'll put the links below, or you can visit my website at bellybeads.com. Thank you very much. Happy rolling.